My name is Olushe Gumukulu. It is quite unfortunate when those who are supposed to teach Christian singles how to get married the right way, the biblical way, are the very ones who are misleading them into wrong marriages. And there is a particular teaching that is quite common that they say today that has no biblical basis and that mislead young people to marry wrong. And that teaching is that make sure you marry somebody who has someone he or she is submitting to. When you hear that statement, on the surface, it looks good. It sounds okay. But there's actually nothing in the scripture to suggest that that is the path to correct biblical marriage. A man that does not submit to God, that cannot submit to the word of God, it does not matter how many men he submits to. He cannot run marriage in accordance with the word of God. A man, for example, that cannot love his wife as Christ loved the church, but that says he is submissive to another man of God, or to somebody, how will his submission to someone translate to being able to love a wife as Christ loved the church? The word of God is simple. Marry the person that the scripture prescribed for you to marry. What we are supposed to teach is biblical marriage. You know, it does suggest as if some of these pastors, they are expecting a marriage where you will be reporting each other. On that normal marriage, you don't have, you won't have reason to report your spouse to anybody. There are a lot of people who are enjoying their marriage, who are running their marriage, they don't have cause to run to anybody. I don't have any cause to run to somebody to report my wife. Neither will my wife have a cause to run to someone because we are born again, because we are Christians. Now, we are not in any way saying that we do not honor leadership or we do not respect people. I attend an assembly. I have a pastor. If he summons me, I will obey. I have a, an elder brother. And if he summons me, I will obey. The scripture says, be subject one to another. It's not until I say that I have one man I'm submitting to. The scripture says, do not be a friend to an angry man. You now go ahead and marry an angry man and say that he has somebody he is submitting to. You will suffer in that marriage. Where do they get all of those things? Rather than teach the life of Christ, which makes marriage work. That's why the Bible says, Wives, submit to your own husband as unto the Lord. Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. When we have the life of Jesus, which he came to give us freely, we will be able to run the kind of marriage that God expects, that God prescribes. The man will treat his wife right. The woman will not have problem with submission. A woman that have a personal relationship with Jesus will not have problem with submission. And there is no need to waste your time teaching a woman who doesn't have personal encounter with Christ. Because she can't. She does not have what it takes. It's not about who you are submitting to. Where do they have that concept of submitting to anybody? Second, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 39, it says, Let her marry whomsoever she will in the Lord. That's what is critical. Marrying somebody in the Lord. Marrying a man that is born again, not a man that submits to another man. A man that is born again, the life of Christ is already in him. He can't be a rebellious man. He's not going to be a man that will raise his hand and slap his wife. They are saying all of these things because they have not raised men to become like Christ. You know, when you see them, they mostly preach money. So they, they, they can't raise men to be Christ-like. And they are trying to put a gauge, something like a, something like a preventive measure, that when crisis comes, they can quickly say, okay, go and meet this man you are submitting to, to solve it for you. Like a crisis management. They are putting crisis management in place. That's not the way of a biblical marriage. That's not the way the Christian marriage works. 
teach a woman, somebody has been in your congregation for 30 years. All you are telling them is that they are going to break limitations. They are going to be rich. They are going to be successful. They won't cry again. They will eat. They will eat. Now they want to marry. How will they marry right? They do not know the, the, how to design the, the voice of the Holy Spirit. They don't even understand scriptural teachings about marriage. They don't know the purpose of marriage. A man has grown under you all this while. He is not broken. The fruit of the Spirit is not manifest in his life. Those are the things you should achieve in their life. When you have done that, when they want to marry, they will marry and their marriage will run successfully. Things will work out well in their marriage. This is the path to biblical marriage. I have compiled uh, before now some of the wrong doctrines that leads people into wrong marriage in our churches. I will put the link in the description below. So just check the description below. You will see the link. You may want to watch that particular video. But I want to say to you, one of the things God has given to us is a free marriage course. We have two free marriage courses, one for Christian singles and one for married Christians. So if you are single and you want to learn about biblical marriage, not that you are looking for a man or woman that submit to somebody. You want to understand. He says in, in, in Psalm 32 verse 8, he says, I will instruct the way you should go. I will teach and instruct the way you should go. The scripture also says the Lord shall choose our inheritance for us. God does guide people to choose. When you look at the story of uh, Isaac, it was not a case where Rebecca was said to be submitting to somebody so that Isaac will be running from Canaan land to Syria to go and be reporting Rebecca. That was not the case. God guided that servant to choose right. The guidance of God is still available today. When I want to marry, now, it doesn't mean God is going to do it exactly like that. But God told me the name of my wife, her profession, and her church. Two days later, I met my wife for the first time in my life. It was that name, that profession, and that church. So, God does still guide. Now, what does the course does is to teach you the biblical way of getting married. You will understand who God, the kind of person God wants you to marry. How to discern the will of God? What is the purpose of marriage? What is your, how do you understand your feelings? When you think you are in love, is it really love? How does our feelings work? You understand all of that. Those you should not marry. How to conduct yourself in courtship? How do you manage finance? What are the things you discuss before you get married? And ultimately, you will realize that Jesus is central to marriage. In fact, marriage is a physical representation of the relationship between Jesus and his church. We have this free marriage course. It is absolutely free. You will do it by email. All you need to do is to write to BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com. Just write and request for the enrollment form. And please state that you are single. Because we have another course for married people. If those who are married, who now wants to apply the knowledge of the word of God to their marriage, there is a free marriage course for them also. If you are married and you are watching this and you want to take it, just write us. The email address is there in the description below. My phone number is in the description below. Just write and say, I want to enroll for the free marriage course. We will send you the form. The course is free from beginning to the end. Everything is provided for you. And it is just by email. You don't need anything. Just through your email, you will run the course. It's completely free. I encourage you to enroll for the course today. And if you want to watch um, other, the other video I talk about, just also check the description below. you find the video that talks about some of the wrong doctrines that mislead people into wrong marriage. Please understand, Jesus said you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Biblical marriage is quite different from worldly marriage. And until you sit down to understand it from the word of God, there is no other way that you can know it. My name once again is Olushia Gumokwolu. My contact details are in the description below. You may want to share this message with other Christian singles. And you may want also to consider subscribing to this channel. God bless you and it is my prayer that you will marry right and your marriage will glorify the kingdom of heaven and your father in heaven.
God bless you.